Hello, I'm Atuba Judge. Let's pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for helping us all through as we were looking at this study, Lord. And even as we round off to the Holy Spirit, we open our hearts for the crowning of every knowledge and wisdom that you have hidden in this chapter to receive. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Nothing will be held back from us. And bodies are being lifted as yokes have been destroyed right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. First Corinthians chapter 16. Now this is the last chapter. And I believe we are finishing this up. Yesterday we stopped in verse 13 where he says, Watch ye, stand fast in faith, quit you like men, be strong. Let all your things be done with charity. Love. Do everything with love. Don't let division in you. Don't let envy, strife and all those things in you. Don't. Just simply walk in love. Bless in love. Correct in love. Now, you're walking in love doesn't mean you will not correct someone. You're walking in love doesn't mean you will not disagree with someone. You disagree in love. Not because someone disagrees with you and saying, I know he doesn't like me. I know he hates me. Can you see how he was disagreeing with me? Come on. Someone can argue with you and it's based on love. Until we both come to the place of understanding and we agree again. See? Not because of hate or envy. There are people who argue out of envy. But you will know. But you make sure you're walking in love. Praise God. It says, I beseech you, brethren, ye know the house of Stephanus, Stephanus, that it is the first fruit of Achaia, and that they have addicted themselves to the ministry of the saints. Can you imagine what, what Paul was saying about a, a house, a, a, a family, a household? He says that they have addicted themselves to the ministry of the saints. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. May, may the Lord have good recommendation of your household. Yeah. So you see, somebody may have started this. See. But he was able to influence every other person. And it became a household thing. They are di addicted to the ministry of the same. You can't be... You know, I've, I've, met, I've met people like that. I've, oh, you know, you just meet somebody and, and you're just talking. You know, I went to visit... A, a, a certain family one time. Not, not that I went to visit them. You know, someone had sent me to deliver uh, some a message there. You know, so I went and said, "Oh, you know, um, I got this message for you." And then we got talking, and of course, I, I shared the word of God. So when I was leaving, and and they, they gave me an offering, they gave me an envelope. I said, "What is it for?" They said, "No, no, 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 no. As a family, we have a a a, 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 a rule." That there is no man of God we recognize that will walk through this house that will not put something in his hands. I said, oh, wow. Because I was fit. Then, you know, I was fit. I didn't know them so well. I was just, like, meeting them. So, I'm like, what for? See? And he said, no, no, no. It's a rule. I said, oh, wow. Now, that was the first time I was here. This was several years ago. That was the first time I was hearing something like that. So, wow. Now, when I read this, I remember them. Praise <laughs> God. I know God will continue to bless such people. He will never forget such people. There are people who, who when they are building their houses, they, they build a special place. They say, look, this place is for any man of God that may need accommodation. So, so it's just there. No other visitor stays in that place. There are people like that. I've had someone invite me like that. So I have this place just for, I mean, if you want to spend time to pray, you, you just come here. That's what it's for. Anything you need will be provided for. You. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah. So, so you see, there are people like that in the Bible. There are still people like that today. So he says, that ye submit yourselves unto such. Did you see? Paul says, submit yourself to such. Because you will learn things from them. And to everyone that helped with us and laboreth, I am glad of the coming of Stephanus and Fortunatus and Achaicus. For that which was lacking on your part, they have supplied. See? 
for they have refreshed my spirit and yours. Therefore, acknowledge ye them that are such. The churches of Asia salute you. Aquila and Priscilla salute you much in the Lord with the church that is in their house. See, so, so you see that they were having churches in their houses. Praise God. All the brethren greet you. Greet ye one another with an holy kiss. Praise God. Uh, what do you mean holy kiss? Which kiss is holy? Which kiss is not holy? It says greet one another. Just greet one another. Praise God. Hey, just greet one another. And there are people who, who, who read, I mean, who greet. And then they kiss for greeting. Now when I say kiss for greeting, not mouth to mouth kissing. They kiss, you know. Even when you kiss on the on the on the on the, the hand, it's a kiss. So that's what we to say with a holy kiss, so you know it's not talking about unholy. Praise God. The salutation of me, Paul, with my own hand. If any man love not the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be anathema maranatha. Anyone who doesn't love Jesus Christ. He is, he is one who is not expecting the Lord Jesus to come. See, because when we say Maranatha, we are declaring that the Lord surely is coming. So when he says Anatema Maranatha, it's an anti-Maranatha, you understand? So he doesn't believe that the Lord is coming, so let's impact well. Like we say, praise God. This is, anyone who doesn't love the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be Anatema Maranatha. Maranatha. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. My love be with you all in Christ Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Listen. Now, think about it. You know when we started, I told you something. I said, this is a letter that Paul was writing to his saints, to the brethren in Corinth. Who are the brethren, the saints, people who he has preached to, people who he has brought the word of God to, who have believed the word of God. And they kept fellowship with him. Now, you see, you can't exist as a believer alone. You must be in fellowship with other believers. Find people of your company. Not everyone in church will be of your company. I'm telling you the truth. But you have your tribesmen. You know what I mean by your tribesmen? I'm not saying go to church and find who are the people from uh, a Jakan village in this church. Let us form an association. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm, you know, when I say your tribesmen, when I say your company, people who, who are like-minded. And when you meet them, you will know. When you're in the place of prayer, see, in, from the place of prayer, you will begin to know there's time for prayer. When we are praying, hey, if the Lord had put a word in your heart concerning the person beside you, you tap him. Hey, while I was praying, the Lord just said, I should minister this to you. And minister it and go away. I don't use that to start calling attention to yourself. No, just be person. Come on. And I've got to stop here. Praise God. Meditate on these things. Let the Holy Spirit open your eyes. Let him open your understanding. And let me tell you the truth. These things are not done trying to be studious with, with scriptures. These things are done through prayer. Pray. Pray and fast. Ask the Lord to reveal his truth to you. Take out time to fast and pray. I don't believe in fasting. Continue. You will be all flesh. You will not fulfill this. God bless you. Bye-bye.